This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash awesomecast. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com. Hey guys, it's time to get geeky, get awesome. It is the awesome cast. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter in the um, Sorgatron Media Studio here in the Beachview neighborhood of Pittsburgh, PA. And we got the full crew with us in studio. It's amazing. The crew includes, of course, John Chichilla at Chilla on the Twitter. He's the uh, gadget guru over at Big Bank International Esquire. How's it going today? <laughs> As I see, Doug Durda just joined. Doug Durda is with oh, us. Oh, good for him. See, you know, we, it's good we started late. You know, letting everybody just jump in with us whenever, you know, they're good and ready. Mm-hmm. Also with us, she's back in the studio, Katie Dutters. Hey, friends. How sales and marketing director over at The Scarehouse, deep, deep in Scarehouse season. So deep into Scarehouse season. I'm, I'm surprised to see you here. I know. Isn't this amazing? This and, never and looking like relatively safe. Did you just wake up from a nap? No. No? I have lines on my face. I just was at the chiropractor. Oh. That's what the lines on my face are. <laughs> oh, that's why you got all the energy, all the juices flowing. Uh-huh. Got it. Got it. Uh, <laughs> we'll, talk, we'll probably talk a bit about, uh, you got a lot of stuff going on. Yeah. with Not just in the scare house. You guys, are, the, the scare house expansion is all over the place. I know. <laughs> Jeez. You want shakes? You want wrestling? You want, uh, you want to go have a drink with a zombie? It all happens. Um, it all happens uh uh there so uh but anyways um and also hold on hold on where's it at where's it at i gotta double check something here uh a happy birthday to my mother actually yeah happy birthday uh so uh, do we sing do we get pulled off if we do that i don't know i think happy birthday is free is it free now yeah i believe so i'm still not gonna sing we should, we shouldn't you should do that. You we shouldn't should, do like, that to everybody else. You should else. send her one of like the the Paw Patrol, the, the Paw Patrol <laughs> phone, those, like, e-cards? phone messages. No, they're the phone messages where you can have. I think it's like seventy. <laughs> it does cost seventy five cents. Oh, but you can you can send like, um, Marshall wishing her a happy birthday. I've, never, I've, never, I've never seen Paw Patrol. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> Uh, anyway, this is the Awesome Cast. Yeah, check it out at awesomecast.com. You can subscribe to us and everything from there. Uh, you can also uh, hit us up on the Facebook page for Awesome Cast. It lets, lets you know when we're going um, when we're going live here on Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Um, also, hit us up at Awesome Cast on the Twitter. Sorry to get a little more interactivity on that. So uh, we're getting that, getting that around for you guys. And uh, actually, Riz sent us a story via Twitter, and I made sure to get that actually into the thing. So good, good, good work. Thanks. <laughs> so, thank you for doing the work for us. Thank you. Thank you for helping us fill out the show. Uh, <laughs> um, but no, I, I do want it to be a variety. Hey, we only look so many places, so it's good to get kind of a, a, a mix in there, including you guys over at the Awesome Cats Facebook group. Uh, where we do get a few stories as well. And we have like, some pretty good conversations going on over there. Also, you can subscribe and rate us um, on your favorite podcast app. And uh, you can catch the video versions on Facebook and YouTube. And like I said, catch us every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. And also thanks to our streaming partners, RiversEdgePGH.com. That carries us Saturday mornings at 9 a.m. And no, I don't want to trust this computer. No, I don't want to trust this computer stop it don't trust them ah and also our friends at the 405 media.com that carry us every weekday at 9 a.m pacific time noon eastern time thank you uh, oh no if you want to join us in studio or if uh you want to uh reach out to our audience through advertising uh, reach out to producer missy out there at awesomecast at sorgatron media.com and thank you to our patreon supporters at patreon.com slash awesomecast uh our friends at the ten dollar level uh don't trust this computer sorry i'm sorry i'm trying to charge this and apparently keeps going 
to that. Uh, at the Coffee Club, $5 level, Matt Weller and John Dickey DeGore, as well as a fan of the show, $1 level, Michael Fedor. Uh, thank you so much to you guys at patreon.com slash awesomecast, literally helping us keep the lights on here in the studio. Are, are you trying to charge an iPhone? Yes. And you're trying to not trust the computer? Yes. It won't work. It won't work? It does a handshake. It does it. So it does a handshake to initiate the charging. Oh. So if you don't trust, is it Windows? Well, yeah, it's Windows and it keeps charging. Yeah. And it keeps popping up. And I it'll say you have to trust, right? Yeah. You have to trust. That son of a bitch. I see what you're doing, Microsoft. What it does is it actually writes, a, I'm pretty sure it writes a temporary file to the PC. Well, see, now it opened a per, the personal hotspot to it. Wow. <laughs> I can't control that. <laughs> it feels like i have nothing for you uh anyways let's get into the awesome things of the week because i as i as i say when i t- describe the show to, to people i i don't want it to be the show where we complain about our technology every week what that i'm completely doing right now because it's, well it's literally not working right here in front of me but um and i just enacted but, an undo but interestingly enough if you're worried and this is a good fun security tip if you're worried about that trust prompt by the way in- i love fun security tip was is is a is something is a, a phrase that came out of your mouth <laughs> so they so when you connect to something it does that file based handshake with the device which is why you get the trust prompt on the iphone mm-hmm. if you are worried about plugging into usb ports at the airport or wherever else which i am because i, I encounter are. those a lot okay so there are a not there are a multitude of USB condoms male to female. It's kind of like a USB condom. Mm-hmm. They're they're male to female, and they you literally plug your cable into it and then plug it into whatever you're plugging into. And what it does is it actually does not have the pin configuration for, the data. for data. Yeah, it only yeah. has. The pin configuration for power, mm-hmm. so you can you can securely plug in to anything if all you want to be able to do is. You charge. know what also works? Bring one of these guys with you. Bring that your, works. Bring too. your USB block so you just plug into a pluggy plug. So I mean, I still use it. Sometimes, when, I've seen I've seen some places though where all there is is USB plugs. Yeah, that's true. Oh yeah, yeah. They, or or the they're, the two plugs are in use by people, and then mm-hmm. everyone who doesn't trust the USB ports is, aren't using them, and the only mm-hmm. thing available. So I will still use the USB port on like charging my headphones, like thing charging my battery, like things like that, but just not my phone itself. That goes through one of these bad boys, one of those bricks that come with it or something. So anyways. So that, there's your awesome tip of the week. <laughs> there's a tip for <laughs> But I guess going along with that, there is an awesome uh, event going on next Tuesday with Apple. And that's yes, that's my awesome thing of the week. Yeah. So um, I'm actually excited. I was surprised that we didn't hear about iPads or we didn't hear about other new information mm-hmm. um, at the phone announcement. Apple announced last week, I think it was on Wednesday or Thursday, um, they will be having an, uh, an announcement to close out the year. Um, there will be an October 30th announcement. And if you look at pre-Halloween... Uh, yep. If you look look at the link that I put in there on nine to five, they they have a the four of the Apple logos that were sent out as part of the invites, and I think there was over there was at least sixteen or twenty different versions of the invite sent out. Um, I'm interested in seeing the iPad. Uh, or there's hints obviously at an Apple iPad Pro redesign with Face ID mm-hmm. for those of you who use your face to unlock your device, which I am a huge fan of now um and no more home button hot tip you can't use face id when you have a tea bag on your eye if you train it to that <laughs> you add it yeah. <laughs> you could add it yeah um i think the best was the other what i was i did jagoff had a bowling event with santonio holmes and i was wearing a zombie mask and i kept having to put my coat in it's like <laughs> you're not recognizing my face it was oh so, man halloween is the big test for face so id funny. isn't it yeah i was like you can't recognize so you me. could train that as a second face or for instance like it probably took two 
Eh, it probably took about four scans of me without my glasses on mm -hmm. for it to be able to handle But both. again, you put the code in, it takes note of that and adds it. Yeah. So if she kept putting the code in with the tea bag on her face, then it would eventually start. Eventually, it would. Notice. I really hope Missy's Before listening to this right now. <laughs> so Missy's been sick this past week, and so that's why she's not here tonight. So, um, but anyway, <laughs> I was just gonna make a comment. Yeah. Just no, no, no. Uh, oh, this is Marty Band's comment because no. Missy's watching. Yes, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I am interested because there's a bunch of when will, time will tell because it's we're one week out. Um, there's signs that the ipad pro will switch from lightning to USB C. Mm -hmm. um i'm most excited about macbook updates so they're supposed to update the macbook line which is the thin um single USB C device i'm guessing that you might be more excited about the potential of an iMac update. Mm -hmm. Well, an iMac, I, or, I would sorry, take a Mac yeah, Mini. A Mac Mini, that's what I mean. Because honestly, you know, I I, I do, I, guys, I need to replace my MacBook now. Because <laughs> I'm like, I'm not ready to drop 500 bucks just to replace the screen at this point. I, I'd rather just buy another computer and then use this as another headless display kind of situation. Mm -hmm. Like I have this idea of like, well, I can take the, the MacBook, stick it in our streaming rig, kind of like I was going to use a Mac Mini, and then now I have a Mac Mini to do work on. If it's, but I don't I want a newer one. I at least want updated technology. I want recent technology. I get it's not going to be the same as an iMac, but it's me. Yeah, and I, I think that. I mean, I'm still rocking the old, thick Mac Mini mm -hmm. with the, the DVD CDR. Mm. Now I have. What year is that? My 2011 doesn't have that. It's probably at. I think it's a 2010. Jeez. So, and what I did with mine, and it's it's getting a little long in the tooth because I can't upgrade the OS anymore. Mm -hmm. But um, I actually replaced the drive with an SSD, upgraded the memory in it. Oh. Like so, I act. I mean, it still runs extremely well, mm -hmm. and they they claim the reason that it didn't get the uh, it didn't get last year's update either. High Sierra. It didn't get high Sierra because it doesn't have an SSD in it. Mm -hmm. Mine does. So maybe it'll let it through. But it wouldn't, it won't let it. it it's an ID and it doesn't have yeah. So uh, I I would like to have a reason to upgrade, but it's it's still spinning mm -hmm. like a top and mm -hmm. I get good performance out of it. And I mean, it, a lot of times I just actually set up uh, uh, what's the handbrake? Mm -hmm. I'll queue up. A slew of videos and just let them rip yep i mean that's kind of what that, that's kind of it's I, a download I, device dude, it's a, hey, i am I'm still test the using software device a 2007 imac for handbrake yeah why not it works it works set and forget it right mm -hmm. so that's good that's good stuff it's a trusty little workhorse so we'll see what's happening i guess um uh that will have happened by the next episode so that's nice we'll have kind of the fresh announcements to talk to, talk about next week on the show uh katie what is your awesome thing of the week? Zombie wrestling. Zombie wrestling. Zombie wrestling. Yeah, I have been loving all the pictures that have been I'm coming good. out this week about this. I'm so glad. Yeah, I've been doing videos and photos. I think I have still a couple more. I have a time lapse, I think, of uh, Revron nice. um, to post yet. But yeah, um, this Saturday night is Fried Up Night down in Market Square, which is going to include you know a bunch of bar stuff happening. There's fun events. like There's different parties. And there's the actual last night in the night market which is a lot of little shops and things and you can buy stuff. But the, one of the big events is going to be zombie wrestling, which we're working with rise um, stronghold entertainment. Correct. Yes. Strong, okay. Yes, um, out of um, they, uh, usually operating out of Connellsville, Lamont mm -hmm. furnace area. We pulled them in for this. Uh, so we'll be, they'll be, we'll be presenting a wrestling event um, all nights from five to 10 PM. Essentially it's a couple of matches at the top of each hour. And uh, there's going to be some zombies and other, critters and creatures and really fun matches that i'm excited about mm -hmm. there's uh so that that'd be fun I, I think it's gonna be a really fun event and if you're not a wrestling fan you're gonna have fun there's a if you're on way. video here's a here's a little bit of the imagery <laughs> going on here of uh, a lot of a uh, friends of the show we've interviewed about all these guys over on wrestling mayhem show and uh and i'm loving the, the little bits of videos that have been going coming out um the uh the gavel david solis uh, yes. our, our undead lawyer 
the metahuman. Uh, it's 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 cool. And, and of course, most of these guys went through the scare house uh, just a couple weekends ago, too. Yeah, yeah. So. We had them out there on uh, for PB's birthday. Mm-hmm. For PB Smooth's birthday. So a lot of that's over on uh, IndieWrestling.us. Um, we have a lot of those kind of backgrounds. All of my worlds are colliding, and I don't it, know it what is. To do. Isn't it? <laughs> I mean, like we thought you'd be like pulling together the wrestling and your and your undead stuff. Oh, I was talking to the crew. I was talking to Marcus and Brandon, and we were at the scare house when we did the, the first creative meeting. And it was like, did, what? Do you ever look at your life and go, what all happened to get to a point where you're in a haunted house planning a zombie wrestling? Like, yeah, none yeah, of it yeah. makes any sense, but it's so amazing and it's so funny. It's so good. Just to think how everything. And, and, and there's so many in that in that world, like, and you don't. It, you have a couple of them in here, but like, there's so many that like live that. Like, the, we call them the spooky wrestler. I mean, of course, Reaper and Christian Noir are going to be a part of it. That already do this on like a monthly basis, uh-huh. right? It's really dope. I mean, are you even going to do anything with guys like that? You know, <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> this is just what you look like. <laughs> We're just like, ah, maybe we'll spruce it up a little bit. Just like, just go out there like you normally do. But uh, no, that's an awesome. It's an awesome mix to see. And of course, only in Pittsburgh, right? Yeah. So you know, we love our zombies. <laughs> um, I'll be there doing video uh, for IndieWrestling.us. I'm like, I'm hoping uh, we can do some fun stuff with that and uh, get that out there for people to see uh, afterwards. But please go come down there. It's um, it's a, a generally a free event. It's a right? free event. If you're if you're interested, um, there's a there's going to be a tent. I think the knock on wood, the weather is going to be decent, but there will be a tent in case the weather gets bad. Mm-hmm. And um, but there's seats that you can get around ringside that are I think they're twenty bucks a seat. So it's pretty reasonable, and you'll have a spot to sit. Like if you're, even if you're just hanging out down there, you can sit down and watch some of the matches. And then um, somebody, something else, we're kind of contributing from Scarehouse's side. Uh, Deville, I don't know if you remember from the summoning times, Deville with the accordion, hammers oh. nails into his oh, nose. Oh yes. yes, he'll be kind of doing some uh, in between match entertainment. Nice. Super excited about that. His his kind of spooky cabaret in sideshow so it's, it'll be awesome we're excited to bring him back for this awesome looking forward to that it's gonna be a good time um my i i feel like my thing is is so boring in comparison guys i started using apple pay on my watch <laughs> and it's a whole new world uh especially since i realized sheets takes it uh it's over now so, so i find myself using apple pay on the watch a mm-hmm. lot. I've used it when I've forgotten my phone and my wallet. Shame on me, but at least I remembered my watch. Um, <laughs> the one problem I've had is when I when I have gone to use it on like uh, candy machines or like pop machines, things that are connected s- through a cellular network, mm-hmm. I have had problems. And it's not the Apple Pay. It's actually... So- the pop machine can't get a cell signal to authorize the, the payments. Yeah, but it's also like your card, it, it takes forever too. Like right. things like that, right? So that, so that like is but, the, the weird one you usually see in the subway because they're all, they're all, um, they're all franchises. So who knows what they have, right? Mm-hmm. So, but I find it completely convenient and mm-hmm. even not even have to grab for my wallet or grab for oh, my yeah. phone. Oh, yeah. It's, well, it's so it weird because great. like, like I'm already like grabbing for my phone because my Sheets card is on the app. And then I'm using the watch for it. I've been using the watch for um, getting through the, uh, that last trip I did to Dallas. I was using it on Southwest, right? The only thing we have is um, we have a lot of problems with the watch when we're using our tickets with AMC sometimes, especially like out there at the at the South Hills Village Mall. Uh, but generally, it usually works. So, like what when you're using it for the tickets what doesn't work it's the when you're using the wallet and the code comes up and everything oh, okay so the, the barcode so that's what they use for it. so 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 the only other thing like i don't get is i've been trying to figure out like what is the easy way for like your starbucks card to come up and things like that other than just setting it as one of the pages well you I, like i always just call up the wallet and pick is it like a is it like a shortcut is it like a like I don't know what is the quick thing to call the call up the wallet on here. I just tap the side button and then choose wallet. Like, is it in the in the in the cards for you? Um, I I have to double click and go into the apps myself. I just I the yeah, I tap on the side and I actually have the wallet centered in the menu, mm. so it's right there in the. I move the wallet into kind of like. Okay. The center so of the I need, icon grid. I need to do. Oh, okay. But isn't there? Yeah. If you double tap the like, if I double tap the side, the crown or the button, the button, like the crown. 
No. Like when I double tap, like can you see? Oh, look at that! Mine goes. And maybe the, it's just because that's the last. Maybe it's always the last app. Yeah, mine I goes the last app. Yeah, yeah. Because so mine, could... mine's going to the music player. Like I'm almost always using the music player on mine. Now we're in an Apple Watch breakdown mode, and Katie's bored. <laughs> do you not have an Apple Watch? No, oh, I should. need an Apple Watch. I, what, I'm thinking about getting one. What do you got over there? What do you? We got something going There's on. There's no Fitbit. I only know how many steps I've taken. Look, I can do that and see dots laid up. Ooh, I hit my goal. It's a start. <laughs> it's a start. So. Um, if anybody's interested in several pebbles, I have a collection of them. So <laughs> that, well, I guess they kind of work because there's that other thing. But uh, I mean, they're fine. They they, they worked well. Mm-hmm. So there's no Apple Pay. There's no there's no, there's no <laughs> Apple Pay, but you can get your text have messages. You, have you used like have you put money on your Apple? No card. No 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 no. Uh, I just filter everything through my PayPal card. Okay, so like that, I, I'm interested it, in it, people. I, I'm interested. So I haven't either. I'm interested in talking to people that have put money on their Apple card, and I want to know, like, why. The only <laughs> use case I can come up for it is, like, I don't want to give out my real card. Yeah, yeah. it could be a security thing, or people. even could, it could just be a budgeting thing. Because it, take, it, here's the thing. It, it, it becomes too easy to pay for things that you can lose track easier. Mm-hmm. That was the one thing that popped in my head. It's like, oh, this is a, this is an easier separation of my money from me, mm-hmm. right? Which means, holy crap, I really need to keep this under control, you know. Be, and um, so, if you're like, hey, I want to make sure I don't spend too much and you know, screw up my bank account because I just Apple paid everything and didn't think about it. So, if you're like, hey, if I always always have like fifty bucks on my card, I know where the fifty bucks came from and I know where it's going, so that doesn't happen, right? So. I think that's one of the scenarios you can use it for. So. All right. Well, the other scenarios uh, we're talking about today are some scary ones, like we mentioned. We called out for the uh, uh, the. No, I'm sorry. We're talking about comic books today. I I I thought we were doing the other ad, but we're already talking about it. Katie's here, so we're talking about Scarehouse in general, aren't yeah. we? <laughs> <laughs> Scarehouse podcast has a new episode. Go check it out. Yeah. Yep. Uh, but the comic book podcast, our good friends uh, over there, they're hanging out here. On uh, on uh, Sunday, uh, recording their next couple of episodes, they're Pittsburgh's longest running comic book podcast. They bring f- a fun, conversational atmosphere to both longtime com- comic book fans and new readers, and covers um, comic related news across all media types, from movies, televisions, and insider industry news to reviews of weekly comic books. Find out more at Comic Book Pit. Dot com. Chill, this is how I get caught up on what's going on on all those uh, comic book shows that I've been missing since I don't have time to watch TV anymore. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's whenever so they, they come so they and record. Up. Yes, it's just like, oh, so what's happening with that? Man, I really need to catch up with that thing. So go check them out, comicbookpit.com. And you're, uh, they're also on your favorite podcatcher and, of course, the Sorgatron Media Master feed here. All right. So uh, the Riz, he's the one that tweeted us earlier this week. And uh, he shared with us an article, and I think this is cool when this kind of stuff happens, and I think this happened maybe last uh, major election as well, something like this. Uber, hey, those guys are in the news for a good thing for a change, and of course, let's be honest, this is part of their, <laughs> hey guys, Love this us. is the kind of general Uber guys, we're not a bunch of bro assholes anymore, um, but they really want you to vote, yay, and use their platform doing it. Um, I, it's a really good, it's a really good, you know, as you know, I, I just came from a transit conference today and, uh, you know, thinking about that and thinking about like people knocking to the polls or going to the wrong polls or things like that. Right. Um, and, but I like this and even like Lyft is saying, Hey, make your, here, here's a side story. Lyft. Every time I log in says, Hey, make your election day plans. Cause they want me to go help election day people get to their polls and everything right um so they provide me with with a link to an absentee ballot so i can take care of my voting now and go take people on lyft to the polls oh neat so to help ensure that you know i vote and i help people on vote on election day Uh, because that's going to be a pretty big lyft day probably um so uber is going to be making it easy um, they're actually going to help you find your local polling place uh, and work with nonprofits to give certain groups of people free rides to the polls. So, like, you go, you, you know, ideally you go in, and, you know, hey, it's election day, and say, find my poll. If it does it based on your home address, I'd imagine, because it knows where you're at, right? Mm-hmm. 
um, and takes you there. Cool. You don't even have to think about it beyond that. Um, also, Lyft is also offering half price and free rides deploying places on election day. Uh, so it, that's cool. And, and, you know, again, you know, transit wise and everything, you know, this really kind of breaks that down. And, and especially in, you know, larger neighborhoods, you know, larger neighborhood cities, maybe they're called. Cities? Uh, <laughs> but no, Towns. But, but you know what? Ubers, I was really surprised. I took somebody to, um, um, to, to skydiving last week. Okay. And I was up by the Grove City outlets and I'm like, oh man, is this guy going to get a lift car back? And I looked, there was like three cars at the outlets. I'm just like, so this isn't just the city. This no, is absolutely, it's, everywhere. it's, it's up, you know, other than like out in the middle of the mountains, probably I, I doubt there's too many, but like in Western Pennsylvania, I think you can get a lift almost anywhere now. Right. I keep hearing about, yeah, there's a couple on Mercer. There's a couple in uh, Slippery Rock, especially those college towns, right? There's going to be those around Grove City outlets. There's going to be those, right? Um, you know, it's going to be a little different. You're going to wait a little longer for your car and maybe there's not as many and et cetera, et cetera, in prime times, but they're there. Can you lift across state lines? Uh, like if I wanted to lift I believe to so. Cleveland. I believe so. Okay. Of course. Well, wasn't there that guy that took a lift? Was it a lift or an Uber? Yeah, like from- to... to- chicago or something yeah from like yeah. jersey like it was something ridiculous i don't yeah. know so i mean in, in, the furthest i've gone is newcastle but um but no that's absolutely a thing so it really does open up, up and again not just for you know us in the city that mm-hmm. get these awesome technology things it's opened up for that of course this isn't everywhere you know so, some states don't have like you know the, the you know they passed a law a year or so ago in pennsylvania that allows these services statewide Mm-hmm. And otherwise, it's you know municipality, municipality to municipality. So, yeah, because I think it used to be I had to be in the Pittsburgh zone in order to lift, which extended you had to out. originate. You had to originate from within. Right, the originating. Zone. Yeah, like I couldn't pick up. Like so. you could breach the zone. You could breach yeah. on a delivery. You can go anywhere, but you can't originate from anywhere else. Okay. Um, and that's then that's of course expanded out and become statewide. So, it's interesting. It's very interesting. Um, you, know, you know what else you can use Lyft for? What's that? To go get pizza. You could use yeah. it to go get pizza. Ooh. Like <laughs> like our friends at Slice on Broadway. <laughs> wow. Chilla, thank you for tag teaming that one. No problem. Our friends at Slice on Broadway support, supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza. How they were supporting a small business uh, event here earlier in the area um that i was at uh but no our good friends up there a uh, good to uh, check in with them here tonight oh i didn't post my beach viewing uh video i, I didn't even remember to do that on the break um but no uh, four locations the original right up the street here on broadway in beachview get off the train guys a lot of you guys i know some of you some of you live out there on the other end of the t-line chilla you get off the line mostly to come here on tuesdays but yeah. you get off the line you get off the train to do no, things. You get off the train to do things. Yeah, that's right. Like podcasting. Like podcasting. And eating pizza. And you eating guys pizza should too. Is delicious. And you guys should too. If you're traveling that red line, hop off the train, go get yourself some pizza, take it home to the folks. If, if you're taking the blue line, hop off at wherever, Willow, and hop back on the red line. Yeah, that's it. It's, it's all the transfer. It's you got to pass transfer. anyways, because you're that, you're that good commuter. You can do that. Also, other places where you can probably hop off a bus um, or cross a bridge, <laughs> uh, PNC Park, the East End, and Carnegie, where I know you can take Lyft. Um, well, they got buses out there, too. Uh, but anyways, go check them out. SliceOnBroadway.com. Thank you so much for those guys for supporting the show with their yummy eats. Um, they got weird at the end. Sorry about that. Uh, so what else do we have to talk about? I was, it was a weird, light kind of week, I thought, Who, wasn't it? Yes. But <laughs> someone in the someone put in the notes 3D photos. Yes. The partners are doing this. So how? Uh, so and I, uh, I didn't try real oh, hard. Oh, the, the, um, the, the on, flowers. Yeah. Right? yeah I, I'll yeah. pull these up here in for the visuals. Portrait, yeah. In portrait yeah. mode. In yeah. portrait mode. Yeah. yeah. Okay. How does how do you make that happen? So they so they were I saying have portraits. You have portraits. Now they were saying that this is a th- feature in Android phones on Facebook apps. Like I thought Facebook I had to have an iPhone to do portrait. To do portrait. But, but oh, maybe it's it? not. Maybe they have a portrait mode too. Like that's where I couldn't figure out. Like 
if and this is where like 360 photos were really weird when app or when and or when facebook started first started doing them like yeah. you had to be in a certain group to do it and you had to have a 360 photo and it had to be in a very specific format like it was a bunch of ands right yeah um now like you can take a panoramic and turn it 360 so this is where i was wondering like do i have to take the picture in portrait mode and then upload it or do i have to use their camera to enable some kind of portrait mode to then upload it like i i and like i said i it, i literally spent about 35 seconds trying to figure it out and when i couldn't i was just like yeah okay i'm done someone someone like swarg will tell me how to do this um and, and educate <laughs> me but i've seen i've seen a number of these and i've even seen, seen like the insides of like tropical fish tanks like some super cool things that people have done mm -hmm. but i i can't figure out how to do it myself okay uh so so dave potter of tiny shutter podcast is in the chat room right now and i'm sorry I'm sorry doing a little bit juggling here guys so i'm getting real great uh <laughs> mama sore's birthday everyone gets free pizza from doug earlier <laughs> yes if you come here to the studio, uh, so, um, but anyways, uh, so <laughs> sorry, I'm catching up on these. Is he serious? You need to like the Facebook 360 group, restart the app, and then you can upload. Really, just from the portraits. So he says Facebook does it on iOS only, which I okay. understand because it's using the portrait feature to grab the depth camera data. But then you need to like the Facebook 360 group, restart the app, and then you can upload. And here, here it is for uh, visually for you guys here. So it's kind of like the 360 videos, right? Uh, or, or, or uh, yeah, the 360 pictures, right? So it, it, it's just using so portrait mode basically takes multiple layers, puts them together, does kind of different things with them, right? Um, especially with the well, you, we're we're talking about like when you have the two lenses on an iPhone, is that correct? Yes. Okay. Yes. So we have a picture of a flower. And as you move your mouse over it, side to side, up to down, it's like you're moving around it. It's got it's got a se sense of depth to it. Um, you know, and kind of as if you were, you know, looking at a picture like this, uh, you know, say with a, a um, you know, a, a, a VR goggles or, or cardboard or something like that. Um, and, and I've seen they've, they've done a couple of these um, between uh, Dave and his wife there. And uh, so this is pretty cool. So this is something that we've basically been able to do. And uh, and Facebook's been kind of just allowing, kind of unlocking a feature from our iPhones at this point, right? Um, okay, so going further into this, have you seen the ones where it's the live photo? Where you're mm. able to, so essentially like this one is press and hold your fingerprint. And it's a live photo. I, so I have done those. Yeah, so, the live so photo which one. one. Is this? So this is like essentially there's like this one shows oh. the fingerprint and you hold it and it's and that's something that they've been <laughs> that's awesome. So yeah, you, so it was it was it was looked like a cutesy kind of um thing, one of those those graphical you know uh, uh, inspirational cards or something, right? Yeah. And then like a, a zombie jumps out at you. So th they've been doing that because that the live photos when they started that you upload them and then they become i think as you scroll they moved or something like that yeah it was like scrolling set, things but now it's you like could a, set you could set the live photos to auto animate or to on touch mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. do it but i can't figure out how to make the very cool we'll, portrait 3d type thing. we'll tell you what we'll um so so we'll, we'll, we'll hop in the awesome cast group and let, let's, let's uh experiment yeah let's experiment with this so please if you're you're part of that please share your pictures or Tell us how you got it working and everything like that. Um, uh, Potter says that they are rolling it out, but to force you up, they you you can like the group. So it's on its way. So and of course we want it now. Yeah, I know, right? Have you met us? <laughs> have you have you listened to this show? Yeah. Uh, no patience. Katie, did you see the article about butts? Yes, I like. It's a butt book. It's a butt book. Butt book. It's such a butt book. Um, but see, it didn't work. <laughs> he's still working on it i gave up deleted uh, chill will figure it out and tell me eventually i like the group but he's started the app. but he's waiting for me to figure it out did you hear that yeah. wait <laughs> That's I, true. you know how many yeah, the, times the, i'm waiting for you to tell me how something works the tr yeah this time i was waiting for sorg to tell me oh jeez. and then i would tell you 
Oh, okay, okay, cool. So as long as the information still just came from you, I trust you. Anyways, this is you know I I get I, you know I get like these promoted articles all the time from like sci-fi, you know or CP. I don't know what they're CP. called these days. I don't I don't know that spelling got weird, but apparently um, there is a book about video game butts. Butts. And, and, and it cannot lie. Things I learned from Mario's butt. That's Luigi's butt over there. What is up with that? So it is. Jeez. Uh, it's still it's still being developed, um, but uh, they've already got um, look at my butt entries on Luigi Miranda from Mass Effect, Skull Kid from Majora's Mask, um, Ellie from Borderlands Two. He says, uh, "It, it I, I don't. It's 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 about butts. It's, but. it's just an analysis about butts." Uh, so is it just Nintendo butts? He's currently really well. No, because he's doing Mass Effect and he's doing a bunch of other games too. Um, they're currently raising money on Unbound. Um, it, he says, "I this is the quote from the author. I started writing about butts nearly four years ago, initially as a joke. Hey, Kitty, remember that conversation we were having earlier about like how did I get here? Yep. Yeah, yeah. I think that's mm-hmm. this guy's life." Um, Initially as a joke, but ended up uh, coming to really enjoy the overlap of serious critique and lighthearted subject material provided by butt reviews. But so they're just reviewing like butts in video games. Any you know? I don't know. Is there like a butt uncanny valley that I haven't paid attention to um, in 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 video games, Chilla? That I don't know. But this, uh, like, I'm not big on like potty humor. Mm-hmm. But I'm going to, <laughs> I'm going to have to check this out. Where I, I think I think and, and I quote probably the weirdest thing that I learned during the research for the book was that in Mass Effect Uranus would be deceptively easy to probe. The <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and there's a uh, Luigi's butt um, flopping on a I don't know a mushroom or Donkey, was, isn't Donkey, Donkey Kong, Kong or something, huh? Oh, is that Donkey Kong? I, I don't know. It looks or yeah, maybe, it maybe it's a Kong. Goomba. Maybe it's like Koopa or something. I don't know. There's a lot going on there. But I oof. anyways, that, that's that's what's happening. Katie, um, a, a week ago. Pornhub. <laughs> okay, you're 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 jumping <laughs> past my setup. A week <laughs> ago. A week ago. But Doc. <laughs> YouTube went down. Yep. And everybody panicked for about twenty minutes. But apparently, a lot of people didn't panic and knew exactly what to do. Go to Pornhub. <laughs> that, that must be the answer for everything. Yeah. But it's fun. Okay, so the it went up by... It's the other old reliable yeah. on the internet. Was, 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 so when there was the the accidental nuclear oh, warning yeah. in Hawaii, <laughs> yeah. their, their traffic spiked. Yep. So it's it's pretty much anytime anything goes wrong, go to Pornhub. Yeah, that's that's the thing. That's where we go. Well, apparently, whenever things go bad, go to Pornhub. It's, it's like a warm hug. <laughs> <laughs> it's always there for us. Everything else can go to hell, and Pornhub will always be there for us. I, wow. Okay. Uh, so okay. So the thing with the Pornhub thing, which is, I think is interesting beyond the fact that everybody went to Pornhub, was the percentage they give you. A, this article gives you a breakdown of the percentage difference in search popularity during outage compared to. October 16th. ASMR was number one. And if you're not familiar with ASMR, it's huge right now. It's the, essentially, it's auto, autonomous sensory meridian response. And it's these videos and sounds that people are watching, and these videos with these sounds, that essentially kind of create this static-like or tingling sensation on the skin. It begins in the scalp and moves down. Really? Which kind of related to Pornhub. So people are but, like... But, but you have to be... You have to be susceptible, right? Like yeah. Not yeah. everyone. I had somebody was because I was talking about the sound. Sensation. I was actually talking with somebody. I think I think when we were doing the wrestling night mm-hmm. about like, yeah, there's something about sounds that I get I get chills every time we go through this one room and and, and I think they described this concept to me and wondered if you guys Cause, were using because also weren't these outlawed on YouTube for a while? Yeah, they were. It was weird. So yeah, that they were a thing that we were causing oh, different reactions. Way. Oh, so I just I just typed it into YouTube. ASMR, eating, ASMR, sleep, ASMR, mm-hmm. yeah. darling, They're, ASMR, like chewing mouse certain sounds. things, it yeah. trigger, triggers it. It's ASMR. like a whole bunch of different things. You no know, talking, glow, slime. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Hold on. This is gonna get us in trouble. Uh, sure, why not? Uh, let's see. Cardi B explores ASMR. Apparently, oh. that's a really good one. <laughs> 
yeah, it's been viewed a few times. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so were they going like, were they so upset about YouTube that they went to Pornhub to try to find? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so they were searching ASM ASM on Pornhub. They were looking up All ASMR. Right. All right, here I'm gonna I'm gonna go to. I find it. It's like the Hold top on. hits ASMR YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. I'm going to open an incognito window for this one. WWE. Kind of, so wait, wait. So was was there? So they were searching that term in Pornhub, right? Yes. Yes. All right. Because I'm just, I now I'm now I'm fascinated. Now mm-hmm. I need to do a video reacting to these things, um, which I might be doing right now. <laughs> nope. I I really shouldn't be looking at this site next to an open window by the street. Um, Art. I'm just kind of curious. Oh wow, there is definitely Pokemon. There are definitely <laughs> results for this. Those. There are definitely a lot of results for this. Mm-hmm. Huh. That's all right. I need to. So when you put something weird in cognito ro- mode, make sure you close the tab because when you're like in a business meeting and open up your Google mm-hmm. next time, it's going to still the be there. there. There yep. you go. There's a there's a hot tip for you when you look up weird stuff on a tech podcast like we just did. Uh, anyways. Jeez, that's a, this is the time where like a, t- a small kid like walks by, You're like, hey, and guys. is like, "What are you looking at on your phone?" Well, is it better than the butt book? Like, I mean, I mean, yeah, we were just exposing the butt book uh, here uh, like, moments ago. The the thing that surprises me though is is my mom still watching? Happy <laughs> birthday, mom! Does she want a butt book for her birthday? <laughs> Did you think you'd watch your son watch, looking up a porn site on the internet? Yeah, that's probably inevitable. Sorry, Chilla. The thing that surprises me is if you look at the list of like the top searches on Pornhub during the YouTube outage, mm-hmm. I would say over 50% of them I, I would not expect to be things that people search for on Pornhub. Like, like, like <laughs> well, here, YouTube, Fortnite, Minecraft, game oh you haven't looked up fortnite on pornhub yet no it's it a, a big... whole new world <laughs> I would I, just... just out of curiosity i'm like it's, a, it's kind of like my my kind of like okay has this thing made it is when there's stuff on pornhub about it like parody type stuff yeah yeah or, parody okay. stuff yeah so yeah there uh, like, like, it's for science and journalistic integrity i'm telling you like if you showed me the list I would think, oh, this is just another Google search. Mm-hmm. Oh, mom's back. Good. <laughs> <laughs> wait, what? So, so they're just using. Wait, wait. So people are just like used to just searching for whatever they need on YouTube, and instead they went to Pornhub, mm-hmm. and just like, how do I, how do I change the oil in my car? <laughs> there might be. I mean, I've never looked. That is like that. Also, would be Let's a curious. Experiment. Like, have you ever seen the people that change? Right. Launch their browser and go to Google, and then they type in like Facebook, Facebook, yes, and then yeah. they click the first link, yeah, like that's what I am. You think this is it? You think just but it, but, <laughs> but they made the connection from YouTube to the porn hub, I guess, right? And like, we're really trying to get into a lot of people's heads here, uh, okay, sure. It was it was an evening outage too, so it's just kind of like you're sitting at home, doing your YouTube thing, and we're like, "Well, next best thing." Okay, uh, Chilla, I have noticed these new Pokemon. So you've noticed the new Pokemon. I have noticed the new Pokemon. I have a couple of them. I, I do have a couple want, of them as well. Trade. Oh, we will have to do that here after the show too. Mm. Yeah, my list is is growing of things I need to do between shows. Um. <laughs> okay, I didn't need to hear this from my mom. Uh, <laughs> anyways, uh, no, yeah, there's a lot of new Pokemon, and um, um, I, I need to buy bigger bags. <laughs> that's that's basically all I have on this so far. I've been kind of like playing Pokemon on the side. It's been my side hustle uh, uh, next to life these days. Um, but uh, I, I and also I don't know any Pokemon. Like this is all just like oh cool random new thing um but did they add anything else along with these new pokemon i haven't seen anything other than the new the new pokemon 
I'm get usually the it's like the, you get the new Pokemon and then something happens in like a week or two. Yeah. So I'm guessing, like, yeah. I mean, there is a new. We uh, just the, got trading not too long ago. The the, 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 per, the professor the um, gave me new missions and realized I didn't I didn't finish the other missions. I'm still stuck on old missions. Yeah. He didn't, yeah. He didn't give me, oh wait a minute. I've I've dropped by just in time, says the professor. Oh, no. oh he's been waiting for you, creepy. I've just been sitting here uh, searching for Pokemon on Pornhub since YouTube's down. <laughs> of course, where else? I did get find- so it must be a it's a Halloween because a, a spooky message. Yeah, because it's like Ooh, like catching ghost Pokemon spooky. and things like that. Uh, yeah, because it'll, it'll be all like it'll be all spooky Pokemon probably for the next week, and hopefully they change. I I get excited when you load it up and they change the artwork. I like that. That's when I'm happy. Uh, <laughs> so, I, I, really, I wish I could um, just get those as. Um, I mean, I guess I, I could screen capture, but I'd love those for just for like like iPhone backgrounds. I'm sure they're out there. Um, but you you have another potential addiction. So and yes, and is this going to replace your Fortnite addiction? It'll well. So here's the thing, right? Is it, it seems so. And what I couldn't glean from the article is Ghostbusters World is coming it's coming it's not here yet really i haven't well is it because i couldn't find a link and when i searched for ghostbusters i got tired of scrolling through like was the when i did it when i first saw the article the article was brand new and i was like oh is this indexed yet um yeah but so ghostbusters i don't care about the rain beginning in 10 minutes Um, (laughs) no oh somebody has weather underground So, oh, so it is. So it is. Uh, I will have to try this now. Okay. So it's it's gonna it's like a cross between Pokemon, as well as it's like a turn based turn type game. Mm-hmm. But one of the things that I thought was interesting in the in the the article that I read was that it says it's you're better off on like public transportation or large really commutes. as opposed to walking. Yes. Okay. So that's why I'm interested in it because I will be honest with you, the majority of my Pokemon. You are a rail commuter. That, is, that I'm that a rail commuter. A yes. So I play a lot of Pokemon on the way to and from work. Mm-hmm. So now, which is limited, which is limited because you're on a moving train, right? But I can still. I mean, I can still get some. I can capture a lot of Pokemon. I don't get the walking mileage in that a lot of others do. And sometimes I do get off the train early purposefully so I get more walking in mm-hmm. to hatch the eggs. So um, it works. But also because I'm passing by so many Pokestops um, and gyms, I can usually drop off my Pokemon, earn coins during the day, buy um, the incubator upgrades, and we're, we're showing shorten the, my walking and needs. And we're showing the Pokemon, or I'm sorry, the, Go, the Ghostbusters I'm on uh here it looks kind of cool but it, i don't know how ar it really kind of looks i'm not worried about the ar the, I just, but it was yeah I, I don't get the mechanism for it like kind of being everywhere it just looks like a ghostbusters game but the idea is you go around and you find ghosts right yes so um Ma- our friend matt carlin's uh our friend of the mainstream media he's been playing jurassic park world or jurassic world i guess um i heard there's the, i think there's a zombie one I, too he, he keeps sending me pictures of oh, i'm sure there's a zombie one uh, he keeps sending me pictures of like uh, raptors in the uh, in the newsroom at KDKA, uh, which is fantastic. Is it a, is it the game or is it just the the? No, it's it's a Pokemon because then we would drive around and say, "Hey, there's there's a Velociraptor outside." Uh, okay, you know because we probably have the same we probably have the same like like pokey stoppy things across you know because there's a church and everything mm-hmm. right uh, right here. So it's using the maps data. Yeah, it's probably using the same stuff. Um, like the the place markers and everything. What was the other game? We, we, we where t- you were the enlightened, or you were the um oh ingress ingress ingress. They're all the old ingress. That was the start of yeah. uh, you know that the antic did that before Pokemon Go. For those that maybe don't know, um, but yeah, was, I mean we talked about this how there was going to be just so many Pokemon clones, and there probably have been plenty. There's been talk of Harry Potter. It's a Harry Potter everybody's getting excited for. Um, you know, I'm surprised it took this long to get this many. But then again, it probably took this long to get ones that were half decent that you could put, that you could slap a Jurassic Park and Ghostbusters on. Mm-hmm. So um, well, now, now you'll see me on the train like this. I'll be like, one phone. This <laughs> oh, okay, he's holding up a stack of phones because he, yeah. he says, 
next to the article, I need more than one phone. And you got that, though. <laughs> so you're going to be like, remember, remember like a month ago, we talked about that Pokemon player in Japan that just had 11 phones hooked up to his bike? I and can't imagine what he, his data charge oh, was. Oh, no, it, it, it was listed in there. It was like $1,000 a month. Um, but it was probably more looking at my bill, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, but still it was like, you know, you need that, but you're going to be playing Pokemon and Ghostbusters and Jurassic world and everything like that. Uh, Katie, are you, are you kind of interested in seeing any, you know, what, what is the, the alt Pokemon go that, that you think would catch your attention? The, the zombie one, or you probably see enough zombies over the season. Yeah, I'm over them. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, I I have to find real zombies. <laughs> I, know, I get real ones. I don't up. need to go look for fake, fake ones. Fake ones? Yes, I don't need to collect them. No, I want pushings. Pushings? <laughs> I'm currently on a pushing kick. What, what are pushings again? Oh my gosh, it's the cat. The What's cat. It? Oh, those the cat. little. Oh, the great cat. Oh my god, pushing. He's a great cat, and he like has the Pushina corn, and he does all the different things, like the the Pushin's guide to being friendly and Pushin. Pushin. Oh, oh. oh Pushin eats sushi. Pushin eats pizza. Pushin eats burgers. Pushin wears a piece of bread on his face. See, I would prefer, personally. I think Star Wars would be. Oh, that would be really yeah. That, okay, Chilla wins. <laughs> that would be so much fun. That seems right. Um, just classic though. I don't. I don't want any. Yeah, I don't. You don't, you don't want porg. Yeah, porg? maybe just porgs and classic shit. <laughs> porgs and classic shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, like original trilogy does not exist. I don't know. I, I don't know if it, I, I'm still unclear if it exists at Disney in general yet. Um, oh, that cat. So that's the cat. That's the sticker in Facebook that I see all the time. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, that makes sense. Like like Boba Fett's battles. There you go. Yeah. You gotta go smuggle stuff. You gotta yeah. go find find uh you know, find caches of whatever that material was in solo that everybody wanted <laughs> that makes hyperdrive work. Yeah. Wasn't that not like the midi chlorians of yeah. of light speed for you in that movie? <laughs> yeah. You're just like, did you really need to explain why light speed worked? Yeah. You know, no, it was very important. There is somebody in the audience that is going, I needed to hear that. I just want to bet with a friend. Yes. <laughs> Anyways, so, Uber I think we're done uh, ruining our childhoods and looking up odd things. Everybody. Oh, geez. What? These show titles. The, the warning. Now this shows you how how much different Ghostbusters is going to be from Pokemon. Mm -hmm. Warning: Do not play the game while walking or driving. What? <laughs> wait, wait, wait! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Walking or driving? Yes. Well, I guess that's. Um, oh, by the way, the game, the Jurassic Park World, uh, it's Jurassic World Alive, is the game which comes up when I search for. Yeah, I see the. Okay, so you you got it. it it's out there. I got the Ghostbusters one. Also, right under it is Slimer's on the map. Oh no! I found Slimer. They had an AR game where, like, you could go around and you would find like Slimer in your room, and you could fight it. Like that one was kind of fun. Mm, when we were first doing like, like that. Ooh, Ghostbusters VR. Hello, Sony Pictures Home Entertainment. All right, Ghostbusters. Uh, Chilla is is doing the space around one of the monsters. You you all right? You're like holding up your phone. Yeah, I'm trying to like it's like I was like calibrating. Yeah. This is going to be great. I ha I actually have like the what's the thing he called? This is it like a spectrometer or something? Oh, the Look PK at you. PK. Oh, oh, there he is. Get him, get him. <laughs> get him. Oh, this this is exciting. Oh, no, Your screen this. at the ghost and press the blast button. Pew pew. Pew pew, we're catching ghosts. Chilla, I was at um, my thrift store and there was a sexy Iron Man costume there for sale. For guys or girls? For ladies. Ah. <laughs> and you almost got it for Chilla. Yeah, I was like, Chilla needs this. <laughs> <laughs> it was yeah. a very tight Iron Man costume. I was just like, this is interesting. Well, what a sexy Iron Man. Yo, hold on. Let me, let me, let me look that up look on Pornhub. Look it up Sexy Iron um, Man. <laughs> probably is on that. Is it like the ones that Look was... it up on Pornhub. Yes. Oh, no, it wasn't that sexy. There's some really okay. <laughs> you did it, didn't you? Yeah, there's some really <laughs> sexy. It was yeah. not like the extreme. Was sexy. it like the Iron Man two dancers at the beginning of the? You know the beginning of Iron Man two where he's on stage. And I love if you're on water. audio wondering why Chilla <laughs> is like kind of kind of still doing a speech because he's still trying to catch something with his Wait, Ghostbusters what? app. 
Slimer just went through the wall. Well, he's, he's a, a ghost. ghost. <laughs> 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 well, what if it's a sexy pizza costume? There's got to be a sexy pizza. Um, Th- that's gonna be that's a whole new show we're gonna start. Oh just my looking God, up I'm in sexy the trap. I was concerned because I was at Party City for the first time. By the way, that's an amazing store. And uh, and 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 there was like Ninja Turtles costumes, but then there was like yeah. little girl uh, uh, Ninja Turtle costumes that were just like like this is the Ninja Turtle costume, but this is the Ninja Cur- this is like the the Ninja Turtle fangirl costume. I don't uh. get how it there just was a separation there. Anyways, we got to move on because this is turning into Ghostbusters and Pornhub and sexy Halloween costumes. We can we can save that for next week. Um, <laughs> We're all going to wear our sexy Halloween costumes. <laughs> Anyways, uh, shout out to our friend <laughs> and show titles. Um, Occupy Pro Wrestling wants to show their support to a good cause for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And uh, they'd love to have you uh, be a part of it when you buy their merch at whatamaneuver.net. 50% of all normal per- merch proceeds <laughs> uh, will go to the Breast Cancer Research Foundation. But wait, there's more. Uh, they're finally uh, releasing merch with their logo, and they even have it in pink. And 100% of the proceeds from those items will go to the BCR. Please I've check them out. The uh, all the Occupy Pro Wrestling. Go- Are you okay over there, guys? <laughs> I'm fine. I, I, was I finding, found a ghost. Well, Chilla needed a special costume to hunt for ghosts, and I found it. Well, well when you're done hunting, hunting ghosts, you can go check out everything, uh, all the Occupy Pro Wrestling gear at whatamaneuver.net. Check the link from OccupyProWrestling.com, and you can find more information on the Breast Cancer Research Foundation at bcrf.org. How you doing? Did you catch anything yet? Well, I got Slimer. Now I got this other guy that I can't figure out why it won't let me. Slimer is like the Pikachu of that game, for sure. <gasps> Sexy corn. On that corn? note, Katie, of course, this <laughs> weekend is Fright Up Night with Rise Wrestling. Yes, and you'll be there. You'll be you there, also- right? Huh? You'll be there, right? Yeah, I'll be yeah. I'll be the scarehouse ambassador for that okay. whole thing. <laughs> oh jeez. We'll have our makeup artist down there and then just be um also, yeah, well, you're downtown. Uh Zombie mm-hmm. Den. Zombie Den, go to have a drink. I'm, I'm looking Square. forward to the, I'll be down there. I'm gonna go to the zombie den. You have to. Oh my god, there's a sexy Yoda. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I'm broke. I'm sorry. Um <laughs> uh, as Katie is making her uh Halloween um um <laughs> plans. Uh, also, uh, check out Pittsburgh Current Live this Thursday at 10 a.m. We've been having a lot of great conversations there as well. And um, otherwise, uh, if you like wrestling, hey, we'll be watching the uh, WWE Evolution pay-per-view, which is the first all-women's pay-per-view uh, here in the studio uh, starting about 6 p.m. Um, Eastern time. Uh, if you're in the area, stop on by. And uh, we'll be doing an interview with uh, before that with a, a wrestler, um, a friend of ours, uh, Sean Phoenix, who recently had a pretty bad uh, spill and is recovering from that. So it'll be our first conversation with him uh, since uh, a pretty scary moment a few weeks ago uh, at a show. So go check all that out. John Chichilla is catching ghosts, and he's probably going to tweet about it at Chilla on the Twitter. I- I'm going to have to make some live videos of this because I'm really confused. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. And K Dutter's on the Twitter and yeah. wherever Scarehouse is represented. Yeah, that's me doing stuff. Zombie Wrangler Extraordinary. Yeah. <laughs> you it's you are you have to be at mass zombie wrangling capacity yeah. this it's year from the looks insane. of things. Oh, and then next week we're at the penguin game. Yeah, I saw I just saw that pop yeah. up. Yeah. yeah. We'll be yeah. at the Penguins game for their uh, theme nights for the Halloween theme night. So yeah, and then the, the Natural History Museum for their twenty one and overnight Friday. So there's just flipping scarehouse stuff everywhere. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Go check it out. Kate Utter's on the Twitter. Yeah. And uh and 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 check the Instagrams as well. Kate Marie PGH. There you go. I'm at Sorgatron on the Twitter, the Instagrams, and everywhere where social media it seems interesting enough. Sorry, Snapchat. And uh, you can check out all the other shows at SorgatronMedia.com. All of our good friends like the Pittsburgh Current Fishing Without Bait, where I talked about social media a little bit this week. We're talking about hive minds. And I'm trying to convince Jim that social media isn't all that bad. So uh, go check that out, fishingwithoutbait.com. Thank you, everybody, for joining us in the chat room, including uh, our buddy Steve from Bold Sports, Amanda from Bo- from Bold, I almost said Sports Pittsburgh, uh, <laughs> and my mom, happy birthday, mom, uh, Dave from the Tiny Shutter Podcast, and everybody else has popped in throughout the night. It's Doug Durda from Yin's Love Barbecue. I almost said Yin's Love Pizza. That should be a sight, too. Anyways, thank you so much. Uh, you have been our awesome audience. Have a 
have an awesome week. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.